This is a demonstration on how to create a very basic income statement using the Sage Intelligence Report Designer add-in. We will be using the main accounts to report from with current period figures, and our example database is from the Sage 100 ERP ABC demo company. Once the Microsoft Excel workbook has opened, you will notice that it contains multiple standard reports on separate worksheets. Before continuing, create a new worksheet and ensure that the Report Designer task pane is visible to the right of your worksheet, and set up your worksheet with the company name and year. Drag and drop the main accounts from the Lists group in the Report Designer task pane. You will use this list to help create your report. Delete the balance sheet accounts. In our example, these are all the rows with the account category of Assets, Liabilities, and Equity. Delete the columns that are not required. We will leave the Account Category column for the moment. Insert a column heading for the period, then select the Formulas tab from the Report Designer add-in task pane and drag and drop the actual formula onto your spreadsheet in the same row as your first account. Change the actual formula to link to the correct company, year, and period by fixing the FX icon and changing the function arguments, or, alternatively, typing the changes directly into the formula area. Press F4 to change to absolute cell referencing where the cells remain constant. To do this, reference the cell address, then press F4 once to fix the row and the column, twice to fix the row, and three times to fix the column. Change the value to accounting format, and then use the Excel autofill functionality to copy the formula down to all the remaining accounts. All revenue accounts should reflect credit balances, which appear as negative amounts. Change the sign for these accounts by replacing the equal sign with a minus sign at the beginning of the formula. Cost of sales, expenses, interest, and tax accounts should have positive values because they are usually debit balances. In these cases, the sign should remain unchanged. Insert additional rows for the report title and delete the main account code, description, and account category headings. Insert a column for category headings after the main account number and move the company name and year back to their previous position. Add a sales title row above the revenue accounts and total the revenue accounts. Repeat the process for cost of sales. Add the gross profit equation, which is sales minus cost of sales. Then add the heading and total rows for expenses. Finally, add the net profit calculation, which is gross profit minus expenses. Style the report to your liking to finalize. If you wanted to compare to additional periods, you could highlight column E 
and drag the fill handle across to the right, the required amount of columns. Remember to run Create and Link Template in your Report Manager to save your report for future use.